Hello and welcome to another video. Now in this video I'm just going to show how students at UNE can run the client side uh, examples in uh, web servers in two particular ways. Uh, if you're working on our student development server you can uh, put them into your public HTML directory on Turing, that, um, that's our student development server. Uh, there is a little bit of a wrinkle with permissions that I want to show you with that and the other possibility is to install a web server on your own machine and run them from there and the thing I'm going to show you is uh, a little one that I've provided just in case you don't want to go and install Apache or Nginx. Uh, just another option. Now what I've got up on the screen here uh, is tutorial one that does uh, Conway's game of life just using the docu document object model API. And let me first of all show you setting this up on Turing uh, in your public HTML directory. So let me go to a terminal and let me SSH to my UNE username at turing.une.edu.au. Now for you, normally you would be asked for your username and password. As it happens, I've set up a uh, private key authentication so it authenticates me a different way from this machine. Uh, but in on Turing, I have a directory called public HTML, and this is where um, things can get served up to the web from my uh, from my username. And so, if I go to Turing.une.edu.au tilde and my username. Uh, and I hit enter. It's not going to list the contents of the directory, but it's going to say welcome to W Billings homepage. That's the default homepage for people that haven't written a, a, a an actual homepage to put there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to clone uh, this repository uh, into my public HTML directory on Turing. Uh, so over here I am now going to go git clone. Uh, the network is a little bit slow today, many apologies. I'm going to paste in that uh, URL from GitLab for the tutorial. And so that has gone and nice and quickly this time uh, fetched uh, the, uh, the code for me. And now if I have a look, I have a directory called Tutorial Conway uh, Life T1. And it has an index.html in it. But there's a little bit of a snag. If I look at the permissions of uh, this by default, uh, it's not uh, so. Although I have read ex uh, permission to all of the files, and I have execute permission to be able to list the contents of the directory, uh, others don't. And unfortunately, on Turing, the web server is others, and so we're going to need to give this some permissions before the web server will be happy to serve this up to the web. Because uh, at the moment, if I go and now uh, put, uh, let me copy that directory name. Uh, and let me put it on. Oops, let me put it on the end here, and hit enter, and it's going to say forbidden because the web server doesn't have access to get to those files. Uh, so what I'm going to need to do is I am going to need to change the permissions, and uh, I'm going to need to do this recursively, and that's a capital R. Uh, in the lecture, I typoed this and did minus R the first time, uh, which actually removes read permission, uh, which uh, means something entirely different. If you want to avoid typos, two minuses uh, recursive, uh, though that's a longer word that it's also possible to put a typo into. OK, so minus R to do this recursively. And what I want to do is I want to give others, that's going to include the web server, and I would like to give uh, the web server read permissions on the files I'm going to refer to and I want to give it execute permission on the directories because that's what lets it uh, search through the directories for the files. Now the way I'm going to tell it to give execute permission just to the directories is I'm going to tell it to give execute permission uh, to the entries where I've already got execute permission because those are going to be the directories. Uh, and so here that dot git that is a directory and you can see that I've got an X on there that means I have execute permission on it uh, but O does not and so I'm going to put a capital X to say give other execute permissions on the ones where I've already got execute permissions and I want to do this on everything underneath tutorial Conway life t1 including that directory itself now that I have oops and I've typoed again I've put two dashes and the capital R which is a terrible mix it should be a single dash and a capital R there or two dashes and recursive OK, now that time that works. And now if I look at the permissions, OK, it looks as though the web server should now be able to access these files. And so if I pop back over here, I should be able to hit refresh and I'll no longer get my forbidden. I'll get 
Conway's Game of Life, the tutorial, set up at the start with it not implemented. Now if I go back over here and if I CD into the tutorial, because I've cloned the repository, this is a Git repository, uh, which means I can check out other branches and as it happens, there is a solution branch. And so if I check out the solution branch, it's going to modify the, the code in the working directory. Unfortunately, that is going to have a curious, awkward side effect, which is that if I have a look, um, some of the ones that it modified have just lost, uh, the web server has just lost its uh, read permission to them. So I'm then going to need to, and I'm just popping back out so that I always make sure that when I chmod, I'm putting the name of the directory in so I don't accidentally chmod on the wrong thing. Um, and so I'm now going to go and give it those read permissions again. And now if I go and hit refresh, I should get my working game of life tutorial example uh, here nicely running for me on our student uh, development server in my public HTML directory. So there's a little bit of a wrinkle around changing your permissions there. Now, the other way that we could do it, and let me execute, uh, exit from Turing our student development server so that I am back just on my uh, local machine. And let me have a look. And this is the directory that I'm in, uh, cost 360 2018. And what I'm going to do is I am going to clone a little web server that I've written using Play Framework. And so this is just going to serve up fi files that are in a public directory. Pardon me. So let me get the um, uh, let me get the uh, the clone URL for that, and let me go git clone and clone that project. Uh, now this builds using the Scala build tool, which uh, you'll need Java 8, and you'll need the Scala build tool from um, scalarsbt.org. Uh, if you're on a Mac, there is a homebrew and a port for it. Other platforms you can uh, download it as a zip. It can be a little bit slow the first time. This is basically going to then get all of the libraries that it needs and it's going to compile uh, this server for us. Uh, OK, so that has cloned. And if I cd into client example server, I already have SBT installed. And so I'm going to go SBT run. And we will see that it will take a little while uh, first loading the project and uh, SBT can be slow, especially the first time. Uh, don't forget though that once it's compiled the server, it's not going to need to compile it again because in this case we're just going to be doing stuff in the public directory. Uh, so let's let that load. While that loads, let's just pop open another um, terminal in the same directory, in ls-l, uh, and in fact ls-lf, so that it will put slashes after the end of the, ends of the directories. And so we can see down here there is a public directory, and that's going to be where I want to put my examples. If I cd into public, uh, ls-lf, uh, we can see that actually there's one that's already included just to check the server is working. Um, uh, but even, okay, that has now compiled and started, so, well, that started the server. And so let me, uh, so this said that it's listening for HTTP on port 9000. And so I am going to go to my web browser and I'm going to go to localhost, which is another name for the machine that I'm currently on, uh, port 9000, uh, because that's the one uh, that it said that it started on. And let's hit that and it's going to look like it's being slow. What's happening? Well, it's actually compiling the code for the server at the time that the first web request has come in. Uh, but it's only going to need to do this once and so we, we will just let it do that. Um, might take a moment uh, to start with. Uh, okay, so if I pop back into the public directory and let's have a look in my first example and we can see that I've just got an index.html and some JavaScript in there. Uh, okay, done compiling, and so that's now started, and if I pop back here, uh, here is my example server. Now, I have been a little bit lazy when I wrote this example server. If you install Apache or N Nginx and you go and click on a URL, uh, that is to a directory, it will by default do something like list the contents of that directory. Uh, in this case, no. Actually, if you go to a URL that's just a directory, it will just complain not found. It wants to, It generally wants to find files, not directories. Uh, but the thing that I did do is I told it that, well, okay, if you put a slash at the end, remember that that's a directory and redirect to index.html. So if I hit first example with a slash at the end, it's redirected to index.html. And now it's it's found that file, it's serving it up. And this example plays fizzbuzz from a linked script. 
Uh, if we were to have a look at the page source, we'd see that there's not much HTML in there, but it loads this Fizzbuzz script. And if we were to look at the Fizzbuzz script, let's open that up in a new tab, uh, we can see that there's not an awful lot to that either. Uh, it's got the typical um, code for Fizzbuzz and then document.writing li elements into the HTML parse stream uh, for Fizzbuzz. And so that's the trivial example to just show that that server is working. Uh, but now let's go and get Tutorial Conway uh, Life installed. So let me copy that uh, repository URL and let me go to my other terminal that's in there and uh, here I am in the public directory uh, in my web server so I'm in client example server p4s slash public and now let me go git clone and clone that example and if I have a look it has cloned into a directory called tutorial Conway life and because I'm doing this on my own machine I'm running the server as me I don't need to worry about um, the issue that I was having on Turing with the file permissions I should be able to just go back to um, uh, go back to where was it so localhost uh, 9000 and I should be able to put that directory and remember to put the slash to get it to redirect to index.html or in fact let's just go directly to index.html and uh, it should after a moment uh, it's being a little bit slow today I'm not quite sure why it's being a little bit slow possibly because I'm recording a video at the same time so my laptop's doing a lot of work uh, but there it's loaded it and again this is the status at the start of the tutorial without the co the, the solution code in there uh, let me pop back here and let me cd into tutorial conway a game of life and if we go ls minus la we can see there is a dot git directory this is a git repository uh, i can go git checkout solution and that has switched this one to the solution and if I go over here and I press uh, refresh again it's being a little bit slow uh, but here is my Conway uh, game of life uh, with the solution in there and I can step through it and run that. So that is a quick video to show two um, different ways uh, that you can uh, relatively easily run the client side uh, examples either on our student development server Turing uh, or on your home machine. Thanks very much.